Was never what I meant to do for us. Even though you're okay, I wish that I could give you all. Did I take it? I didn't know. You to say when it gets dark, I'll take the blame for what we are. A nice old woman just approached me and told me I look like a model and she also said that this looks nice on me it's really sad because I didn't want it but now I'm kind of reconsidering it okay I finished the first door now we're going to the second one actually I also have to say the quality is going to alternate a lot you used to touch I used to dream we used to say the prettiest I've ever seen so long ago Before it all went down in flames We were hotter than it would be How could we know that it was so wrong? We've been out of love yet for so long Yeah, how could we know when it was all done? Yeah, now here we are and we are long gone This is actually my favorite oh charity my shop in the area So I cannot wait to start looking for it, but anyways, I'll try to check if it's all of it is thrifted by the way. This is actually recently thrifted, it's from Facebook. I think those are from Misguided, or maybe another one I can't remember. And the shoes, actually, I got them new, but thrifted from Depop. They're actually from Brush Guy from the Mr. Gannis. Oh, I forgot to talk about the scarf. There's no brand on it. I feel like the lighting is really yeah. bad here compared to where I was before, but anyways, let's look at those items. Yeah. This I'm not going to speak a lot about because it's more gun. Yeah. I don't think this is the size that I really yeah, don't think this is the size that but just because it's more gun that I'm going to get it. It's really cute. The ones I'm gonna show now are items I'm definitely not getting, but I think are cute. The first one is this gentleman top. It's pretty cute, but it's just not my type. So much nice, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyways, I don't see a word in which I'm gonna be wearing this, so it's a bad. Blue is my favorite color, and I normally don't wear any blue items like ever, but I noticed that this spring in particular, I've been really intrigued by like more bold and pastel colors, because normally I'm always dressed in black, like this is not even a joke. I dress in black for a living at this one. So I saw this, but I'm not going to take it. It's really cute. From this brand Bay, which I also really like. It's not that much of a popular white to okay item, but it's super cute. Like most Bay items I find are cute. This is another like vintage white to okay brand. It's called West One. It's super cute as well, but I just don't think it's my type. I can never see a word in which I wear something like that. So I'm gonna pass it. The next one I found is actually this top. It's very really simple. I think I really like the color, just that it's too bad for me, so I'm not going to take it. The first item I found was actually this skirt. And in all honesty, looking back at it now, I don't think I love it, so it's beautiful, but I'm gonna give it a pass. This I love. If you remember this one actually, I saw it last time I came here. 
And I decided to leave it because I just felt like the color was too much. But I think looking at it now, I really do like it, so I'm gonna get it. Because this one, no words, I'm gonna take it. Honestly, there's something about those two items. I don't want to get them. I'm saying it from the get go, I'm not going to get them. I just think, like, with this, for example, the pattern is so beautiful, and this is also really cute, but I'm not getting them. This is honestly so cute, but I think I'm gonna leave it so. Kind of wondering if I'm not making a mistake with this skirt because it's honestly super cute. So like, let me think about it. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but for now, the odds are not really good. It's a bit loud here. First days, it's beautiful. I love the color. But just my issue with it is I feel like it won't be my size because it's supposed to be a size 16. The next one are those shorts. I actually saw them the last time I came and I decided not to get them because there's a button missing here. But now I'm just looking at them and I'm wondering if I shouldn't just get it. You know, it feels like a sign if it's still there. This one, though, you might remember it from my last video. Last time I saw it, I was like, I'm gonna leave it because I don't know how I feel about it. But when I go back home, I literally regretted not getting it. So I think I'm gonna get it. Let's think about this one. How cute is this? Can't look for the ways because we're just so blinded. Tell me to hear when I ask you to listen. We're on the same side. But you're making me the villain Have I grown too comfortable? Thought we were unshakable But when you started leading on somebody else I didn't know you Gave me a sign Now my shoulders are closed We're on the nights We're at each other's throats Why? Hello my amour, welcome or welcome back to my channel My name is Cindy and I make thrifting videos By the way guys, I have to say, I'm literally sitting on my table It's a foldable table, so it's really not balanced right now But I did want to come back to this background Anyways guys, let me show you the items I got today I am so happy Of course in no particular order The first item I'm gonna show is this house of denim mirror denim shirts i'm obsessed with denim shirts i find them more safe than denim skirts i mean it depends who you're asking but yeah that is it i don't really have much to say about it it's cute yeah <laughs> The next item I got is this pair Yuna mesh sleeve top. I really love it. Like, check this out. We love a mesh moment. We love a ruffle moment. And just add those bows. And we've got the perfect top. And I love the color as well. The next item I got is this skirt. Guys, I don't know if you remember it from my last video. Pineapple is not really a brand I'm aware of. But ever since I actually like discovered it, I've been seeing a lot of pineapple stuffs and like I'm like, what's going on? And that's the thing, once you acknowledge something, you start seeing it everywhere because now your brain knows it. For me, pineapple meant nothing until I saw this skirt and now I'm seeing pineapple items everywhere. Pineapple is such a weird name for a brand, but <laughs> we move. This is the next item and next skirt. It's so beautiful, like genuinely I'm in love with it. It's cute, it's really cute. I just hope it's gonna be like mini, not midi. If it reaches my knees, I'm gonna be so angry. And I know you're wondering then, why didn't you try it in store? I was wearing joggers. I don't know what possessed me to actually wear joggers today because last time I actually dressed appropriately for trying items in store. Next item I got is this bag. What's actually funny is I've seen this bag in another shiny shop and I think you would have seen it in one of my shorts. Literally that bag was in that shiny shop for so long. So it was very funny when I went to this shiny shop and I got it. And what I love about it is like of course the color. Let's start there. But then look at how cute this is. I think someone must have added it or maybe it came like that. I don't know. I love it. I was happy that I could get it because in that shade shop I really wanted to buy it the first time I got it but just like I couldn't justify it for the price point and I got it for cheaper in the shade shop I went to this time so of course. The next item I got is this white upgrade me cap. If anyone knows me I went through a period 
where I was so obsessed with caps that I was literally collecting them. It winter in my room and I would have like literally all my caps on the wall and then I got over it. At least having one hat is necessary in someone's wardrobe and I really love like what this is saying. Do you know the I don't even understand. What does that mean upgrade me? If anyone knows like please leave it in the comment section down below. Maybe I'm just too dumb and I'm not getting it but for me it doesn't make sense. Upgrade me? In what sense? I understand what upgrading means but why would I walk around that's the reason why I got it because it's confusing to me and I want everyone who reads it to be confused as well unless maybe I'm the only one who's confused in this story I don't know the next item is this top I love it so much really really love it it's giving renaissance it's giving everything laces are supposed to give it's giving honestly like I just wish I could be one of those people who would wear that and maybe just like a bra, a black bra under and go out like nothing, as a crop top but because it's like transparent I can never be one of those girls but it's so beautiful can you even see? I do imagine it to be one of those items you can wear like to go to the beach or like just like traveling and like enjoying summer and normal activities like going to the park like going swimming and things like that it's just so cute if I fall, it's no one's fault but mine. But if I fall, I'm gonna hurt myself so badly that I feel like it should be someone's fault, not mine. <laughs> the next item I got is this warehouse black top. Last time I went, actually, I did see it in the charity shop and just thinking like, I don't know what this is supposed to be, so I'm gonna leave it. But this time I actually like took it off the hanger to understand it. And Honestly, what I understood from it, I like. <laughs> that sounded so weird. I really like it, genuinely. The next item I got is this Morgan de Trois uh, top. It's cute though. I'm not saying it's not cute, but it's just like there are so many things I would have done differently. Oh, <gasps> this is my favorite. Actually, no, 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 no. I have another favorite. Never mind. But oh my god, it's this Jane Norman skirt. I did try it in store. It's really beautiful. The fabric is quite meshy, but of course, there's like this under to protect people from seeing what they're not supposed to see. But yeah, that's that Jane Norman skirt that I love so much. Guys, I've been willing to record a spring like outfit ideas for so long now and genuinely I'm so disappointed in myself because in January I wanted to record an outfit video but it's just like I remember how much work I put in like the first outfit videos I ever filmed on my channel and all this work ended up being three minutes. I was so disappointed and the things I really liked the outfit. I had so much fun that day, but just like so much work. But anyways, I do still want to record a spring video. Next item I got, you guys will remember it, from the train store is this Danima Beach trench coat. Compared to other trench coats I have, I think this quality is the worst because it is made like, I think it's 100% polyester if I'm not mistaken. But I love how oversized it is. It's just like a quick, you're going out in the evening, you don't want to think too much about your outfit and you just wear it. The next item I got is probably the only dress of this haul. Maybe not, but I'm very sure it is. It's this like Birkatex, which I believe is vintage. I haven't even been saying what is vintage, what's not. Of course, like the Morgan de Trois and the Jane Normans will be like vintage slash white, okay? The Danimac definitely vintage. Next will be modern. I'm literally not remembering. Like the bag, I think, is modern as well. Anyways, this is vintage. Like it's so beautiful. I love it. Honestly, like I had a lot of doubts getting it because I genuinely do believe like it's not like the trendiest of items, but the color is so beautiful. Those colors together. They look so good that's what makes me love this dress so much i do here trying it on because i really do believe it's not gonna do what i want it to do on my body but let's hope the next item i got is actually one i had also seen last time i went to charity shopping you would see it in the previous video i posted it's this affinity vintage jacket i love it it's so fitted it's giving girl boss it's giving everything it needs to give and i'm here for it 
so next item i got is this united colors of benetton green long sleeve top it was actually in the men's section and that's why i always say guys like go through every section i know it's hard but do that you're gonna find gems you would not have found otherwise and this is an example i know it's not for everyone but i feel like this really springs <laughs> this really screams spring especially with the green i'm really thinking of making a three flip video i've mentioned it in the past in one of my videos but it's something that's really been on my mind and yeah <laughs> i don't know what else to say anyways guys that's it it's beautiful the next item i got is this like forever cute 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 like y2k i want to say more likely that it's vintage than y2k mini short it's so cute of course like it's screaming more like autumn than spring but i love it i love it regardless the next item i got is this beautiful black and pink top it's really cute really sexy and we live for it i feel like i should say more about it but i literally don't know what else to say <laughs> it's cute the next item I got is this mini uh, skirt. I love it. Is there anything else I can say? Let me see, actually. <gasps> yes, it's my size. Oh, I'm so happy. The next item I got is actually this Tommy Hilfiger blue bag, I guess. Is that even a bag or a purse? I have no idea. It's so cute. I love the pom poms. Like, there i wasn't even gonna find it you know i bought whatever it is i wanted to buy from the store was making my way out when i saw this like little bin kind of with bags inside and i decided to check it out and i ended up finding this it's so precious it's so cute like the color is screaming at me like love it love it love it love it love it the next item i found actually you guys will remember it from one of my previous videos at this moment i should stop saying previous video because i don't know which one is coming before which for this orange top i saw it last time i went to that thrift store ended up leaving it because i was saying that the orange was not touching me but then i don't know i start i thought about it and i was like you know what i regret not getting it now holding it in my hands i do feel like this might not be my size i hope it is but yeah i love it i love it so much at this point i feel like we should take a shot for every time i say i love something because i say that a lot don't I? but this black bag is the next item should i try it i did see a cream version i don't know if you guys will remember it I did show it in the thrift to free clips. I ended up leaving the cream version because it did look like Diary of Life, but this still looks like to be in pristine condition, so I got it. The next two items are actually shoes, and you guys don't go, don't go. I am kind of starting to feel like this was a mistake, but I did see a lot of those on Depop recently, so I feel like they might be trendy, and this is vintage. So I thought I would try to join it, you know? But the amount of money I paid for those shoes, it's fine. It's okay. I'm not really losing much. Let me show the shoes, actually. Let me show you those three books I got. They are like collector's books, vintage, all three of them. And so cute. The first one is For Whom the Bell Tolls by Ernest Hemingway. The second one is Of Human Bondage by Somerset Mogam. And finally, The Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan. So now bunyan actually let's move to to spare of shoes guys i was already leaving the charity shop when i saw them and i like something told me like check it out and when i checked it out i literally jumped for it i was like i'm so obsessed it's supposed to be a size five is it actually i thought it would be like a three to be honest like looking at how small it is but well, apparently they're saying size 5 it's so effing precious of course it's not my size so i'm gonna be this annoying reseller i love it you can tell they spent such a long time trying to like make this beauty and it ended up being a beauty and we love it honestly guys those are the star of the show actually guys before you go I just want to make like two honorable mentions to two items I recently got 
honestly like there are so many items i end up getting that never make videos about some items i haven't shown so the first one is this patagonia check jacket that i love so much like honestly i got it like a few days ago and the next one is this playboy jacket that i love so effing that much that is all i'm gonna say oh my god where's the bag i also got a playboy bag i cannot believe this give me a few minutes i'll find that bag okay guys found the this cute playboy bag honestly i feel like i've been having so much luck thrifting this past few days and i'm so thankful i feel like it takes a lot of work people just don't realize it that's why and yes i'm gonna be that person the video is almost over so you guys can you can stay and indulge me for a few minutes i feel like it's easy for people to kind of get angry at resellers for pricing items so much and i'm not saying like every type of pricing is okay because i did see like some people pricing items and the amount they put on those items are crazy but most people actually if you sit down and you really look at it you would see that actually like the pricing makes sense imagine like waking up so early in the morning having to go through six charity shops taking all your time to find like items like literally going to like one 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 item for hours like i think i was there for almost five hours if not like just rummaging through items and it's just a lot of work and a lot of searching and i'm not trying to justify every reseller prices but i want to say like sometimes people like just try to look at it from like most resellers point of view yes i'm showing you those items and i'm like telling you how they're cute and all like ah, i'm so happy i got them but it wasn't easy it was me going through so many places like sometimes going in just finding one item coming out and sometimes you're lucky sometimes you're not no i'm saying like oh it's luck but it's actually also a lot of hard work so that was a little rent i'm in love with this playboy bag like, ah! <laughs> okay you guys thank you all for watching this is the end of this trip haul i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comment section down below which one was your favorite and if there's anything you feel like i should improve on please let me know as well hope to see you in the next video love you guys bye